from derailment of high-speed coasters to royal pools of infernos of tragedies, we bring you the top ten freaky amusement park accidents. Number ten, Expo Land, Fujin Raijin 2 derailment. Expo Land was quite the amusement park. It ran for a total of 37 years, first opening at the International Exposition in 1970. It wasn't until May 5th, 2007, when the park truly made headlines, though. Said to be quite possibly Japan's worst amusement park disaster, the Fujin Raijin 2 roller coaster came undone from its rails, killing a teenage student and injuring 19 others. Upon further investigation, it was revealed that the Fujin suffered from a broken axle, which in turn caused the whole predicament. Expo Land was eventually at fault for more safety violations, and on December 9th, 2007, closed for good due to lack of park patrons. Number 9. Water World USA Water Slide Breakdown The water slide might not appear to be as dangerous as a roller coaster, but it does not lose its potency for disaster. One fateful day in 1997, a group of 30 plus high school kids went up the slide and with their combined weight caused it to come crashing down from a large height. Out of the 33, one died, leaving the others to receive their diplomas in wheelchairs. Number 8. Derby Racer Death Tolls the Derby Racer was constructed way back in 1911, when safety regulations and inspections were way more lax than they are today. The first of many accidents took place on June 8th, when a man was launched from the racer, and he plummeted to his death. A couple of years later, in 1917, another man was thrown out of the coaster. This time, however, the person was thrown onto the tracks, where he was ran over and immediately died. The last accident occurred in 1935, when another person was thrown out. You think they would have fixed that problem by then. The coaster was demolished in 1936, succeeded by another racing roller coaster of the same name, until it was once again demolished in 1948. Number 7. Action Park, The Grave Pool Having one of the most intense nicknames, The Grave Pool has been the cause of three deaths over its tenure. The pool was actually the first turbulent water pit of the era. The pool needed at least 12 lifeguards always on duty, with reports stating that as many as 30 people had to be saved during busy weekends. This is not the water park you want to send your kids to. The park was shut down in 1996 for obvious reasons, and subsequently reopened as Mountain Creek Water Park in 1998. They changed the name back to Action Park in April of 2014, with a focus on safety this time around. Number 6. Middlemore Water Park, Catapult of Death I know what you're thinking. This looks like a medieval catapult. That's because technically it is. Somerset Englanders thought it'd be a good idea to hurl patrons at great distances and speeds at a net far on the other side where they'd supposedly land. However, two Oxford students missed the safety net and died on impact where they both splattered on the ground. Middlemore thought it'd be best to remove the machine after the accident. Number 5. King's Island. Multiple deaths. Somehow a lot of people died in King's Island on June 9th, 1991. The accidents even inspired an episode of Ghost Hunters to look around and see if the park was actually haunted. On that day, a man fell into a pond, which prompted his friend, William Hathcoat, as well as a park employee, Daryl Robinson, to jump in to save him. All three suffered a terrible electric shock, killing both Hathcoat and Robinson, while ironically leaving the first man that fell into the pond alive. Shortly thereafter, 32-year-old Candy Taylor died on impact when she fell from a ride called the Flight Commander. Today, King's Island is still open, and even won an award for having the best kids area in the world by amusement today. Number 4 Galaxy Land Mindbender Murder Oddly, the coaster was once labeled as one of the safest roller coasters in the world. The Mindbender is the largest indoor triple loop roller coaster. Much like the Fujin Raijin, on June 14th, 1986, bolts were missing from the wheel assembly on the last cart, derailing their connecting carts and causing the whole ride to crash violently into a concrete pillar. Three people were killed, leaving the only survivor seriously injured. Number 3 Battersea Funfair Big Dipper Disaster a terrible roller coaster accident occurred May of 1972 during London's Battersea Park Fun Fair. The Big Dipper was a poorly maintained wooden roller coaster. It served as the main attraction of the park. During a run, the rope that supports the carts up to the slope to launch snapped. What's more, the anti-rollback component failed. This made a string of carts rush backwards into a wall, killing five children while injuring 13 others. The Battersea Fun Fair later closed two years later due to the accident. Number 2 Overseas Chinatown East, Valley Space Journey lights out. Valley Space Journey was supposed to simulate a rocket launch. However, on June 29, 2010, one of the cars came loose and as if something from Final Destination, due to a bad screw, completely lost power. 
The dome then started an electrical fire and subsequently fell with more than 44 people inside. Reports show that 6 people were killed and 5 were critically injured. Number 1. Six Flags Great Adventure, Castle on Fire. The worst accident did not occur on a roller coaster, surprisingly. No, the worst accident occurred in a Six Flags haunted house. The whole ordeal occurred one fateful day on May 11th, 1984, when the castle bursted into flames. The flames reportedly reached a temperature of 2,000 degrees, which melted the metal interior. Most of the people inside the castle made it out alive. However, eight teenagers were trapped and died in the inferno. The park was subsequently sued and were brought up on charges for their safety precautions.